they're kind of forcing us to move into movie render graph, which is great because the graph is extremely more powerful than movie render queue. Uh, but we do have uh, a new button, which is quick render now, which oh, yeah. viewport without needing to set up cameras and set up render settings and set up all that. So that that's again, in tandem with your idea of, I don't know how this would render out the new button will help you just click on it and see what happens. Right. Which is awesome. And that's, uh, on the left of the play button, all the way to the top on the play simulation button. So yeah, the, the, the quick render is, is great, but by default, it defaults to movie render graph. You actually cannot change it. It will only and exclusively render with movie render graph, which is fantastic. It's a new way of rendering it differs from the old settings from movie render queue base because movie render queue is really an interface and you can use the old settings that we all know, or you can tell movie render queue to render with movie render graph. Uh, so it's, it's kind of weird the way you interchange the names, but they're really kind of the same thing. And it's great because you don't even need a camera down on your scene. It will render viewport if you have anything in viewport. Uh, so it's really, really powerful. And also new with Unreal Engine 5.6, it's been 74 years, but we can render H.264. Welcome everyone yeah. to the era in which we can render audio and video at the same time. And we don't need to enable <laughs> Apple ProRes to render video anymore. And what's more fun is that now the people that have Apple actually, which could not render with Apple ProRes for whatever reason, can now render video with H.264, which is enabled by default. Um, which is amazing.